Welcome to Karis Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'm sure you're doing very good this season. Here's the tutorial we'll be making today, and I'll be using two and a half yards of Ankara fabric. Yours might be more than that. It's going to be a peplum blouse, but pleated with kiss pleats and um, a bishop collar. It's also going to have a kind of flare on the sleeve, and the measurements we're going to be needing are just the on the bust, the half length, and the full length. We we'll need the bust circumference, the under bust circumference measurement. We we'll also need the shoulder measurement, the sleeve length, and the round sleeve measurement. The good thing is this tutorial is going to be just in one video. So I expect you at the end of this tutorial to make yours so I can see how beautiful you're going to look in this beautiful dress. So um, if this is your first time, don't forget to click the subscribe button, click the bell as well to get notified anytime I upload a new video. So quickly, let's move to the cutting table. I have here is my basic bodies. This is the half length. The half length is 15 inches and I added one inch to make it 16. I also folded with the bust circumference plus a divided by four, which is the same as bust circumference divided by four plus two inches. I brought out my 8.5 inches for ham o and 12 inches is the under bust length. So on the ham o point, I brought out the bust circumference plus eight divided by four. And below the under bust length of 12, I brought out the under bust circumference measurement plus 8 divided by, by 4 as well. And here I have the shoulder divided by 2 plus 0 0.5 inch here. So I have 7.5 inches altogether. Now I have the ham hole, the bust, and the under bust circumference for the front. And to the back, I added my zipper allowance. I added just 1.5 inches as my zipper allowance. So this is what I have. And there's need to slit the back. Then for the neck design, I have the width of 2.5 inches, that's the width measurement, and the depth of 3 inches for the front. I wouldn't know if that would be better or this. So this is my front neck design, and on the back design, I, am, I have the depth of 0.5 inch so the front alone i'm going to cut then the back like this also i measure down one inch to slant i'm going to slant from the show from the neckline just like so now to bring out the um princess that i have princess that but for both the front and the back this is princess that not Princess that bustier. Yeah. There are differences between um princess that and princess that bustier. I have tutorial on how to cut princess that dress and also how to cut princess that bustier yeah dress. So you can watch the tutorial to get the difference between the two. I'm going to mark out my princess that which is um 3.5 inches for this measurement and for a normal standard measurement to be four inches. On the ham o I'll be working with 3.5 inches. This is my 3.5, so I can easily bring out my princess that's like just like this. Okay, still continuing with the front alone. I'm done with the back. To continue with the front, now I measured down. 13 inches okay this 13.5 inches i measured down 13.5 inches and at this very end i took half an inch that's 0 0.5 coming up i i took one inch then at this point i took one point one point um zero 1.25 that's it is not up to 1.5 it's not up to one and a half 
1.25 inches. From this point, I'm going to slant to this end. So I'll cut this off just like this. Now, what we are going to do, I'm going to join this princess that. After joining the princess that, I'll place my fabric to cut out the lining. I'm also going to add an interface to both the front and the back that. I'll be using a soft BFF for that. A soft one, soft BFF. The back as well, I'm going to join the princess that. I'll join the princess that. I'll use the fabric to cut out the lining. So now I'm going to cut out the base, which is the flay. To cut the flay part of my blouse, here I'm folding into a head that's full flay, and I need my flay in excess. I have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flay, so you can understand how the folding is to fold for the to the, um to fold for full flay. What I have here is folded, and what I need here. It's going to be more than the waist measurement. So I have excess here. What I have here is up to 10 inches. And times 8 is about, you know, 80 or something. So I actually need it in excess. I'm fine with this. And from this point, I took the length of 9 inches. That's the, the length of um, the remaining part. Like the length of our blouse in total is 23. I already have 15 inches for the half length and the mini length is eight so plus my allowance that's nine inches which is the length i'm going to cut this out like um, we did for the half length I am also going to add my stay cut out lining for this then I'll use the lining to turn the base I'm going to show us how to turn still in this tutorial since all our tutorial um, is now in a video it's the same video not a separate um, videos anymore so I'm going to show us how to do that we are going to move to the sleeve now the length is 16 inches, so I have 18 inches here. That means I'm going to fold in like 2 inches. This is the length. I already cut out the first one, but I just quickly need to explain to us the length of my sleeve. And I brought down 4 inches. This is my 4 inches. So that at the base, I can take the round sleeve here, divided by 2 plus my allowance, and the upper ham round sleeve divided by 2 plus uh, allowance so to the four then i brought out the crown of my sleeve so this is just a basic sleeve a three quarter one and now i want to cut out my flare to cut out the flare i'll still be using um a full flare like I have a sample here. I'll still be using a full flay. And the width here is to your desired measurements because you can um, go with excess as much as you want. And for me, I'll be needing the excess, like I'll be needing the measurement of five to six inches. So I'm cool with the six inches. It's going to be in two steps. So this six inches is fine by me. I'll just quickly take um, the measurement round. The length I'll be working with here is just the length of four inches to be pleated on my sleeve. So I'm fine with this. I'm going to cut this out. I need um, two of this, which is going to be on both hands. So I, also, I still need one more of this. Or oh, better still... Uh, Okay, I think I have more than enough. I can just divide this into two. That means I'm cutting out um, more like a, a double flay now. Not a full flay, a double flay. Since I'm cutting this into two, and it will stand for the both, for both sleeves. Okay, 
this is it so one for the one sleeve and the other for the other sleeve just um just like this okay what i have here is going to be for one sleeve and that's because i am going to use this to turn so i'm still going to cut this again i'm still going to cut one more of this and the one on top is going to, is still going to be the it's going to be the length of four inches but it's been reduced now i've reduced the measurements so this as well is going to be your um desired just your preference go with any measurement of your choice at this particular part um of the flay but the same length i'm also going to divide these and i need one more of this as well because what i have here the other part of it is going to stand as um you know i'm going to use it to turn the flay so i'll be cutting one more of this and one more of this now on the front fabric i've ironed my interface that's a soft um stay i use the bff and this is also my lining and what i did here was to close the sides just the sides I'm also going to turn this neck the way it is. Then coming to the back, I've joined the sides as well. I've closed it with the lining. After turning the neck, just from this point, I'm going to start turning from this very point straight down to the other side. I'm going to, after doing that, I'm going to, I'm going to bring my fabrics together to join the shoulder. And I'm also going to be bring the lining to close the lining as well. going to turn the zipper space i'm going to turn with lining after which i'll hold like one and a half inch to join
Now, having joined the shoulder, the next thing we are going to do is um, to bring out, to measure out the neck, which I already did. We're going to take the round neck like this. Here I have like almost 11.5 inches. Now, to cut out my collar, I folded my fabric into two, just something like this, a strip of fabric into two. And the measurement here is the measurement which I measured on the round neck, which is 11, um, about 11.5 11 in, 11 inches, sorry, about 11.5 inches. I added allowance to it so as to join. I also folded into two, just like this, and brought out a kind of, you know, just a shape, a curved shape like this at the head. Now, it has been seen, we might stay and don't the swing. What I'm going to do is turn it inside out. Then I'm going to attach it, starting from the inside. I'm going to start by joining from inside, just like this. I already have a tutorial on something like this. That's how to, how to cut um, a shirt dress where I attached a bishop collar. So that is how you are going to run it. Then I will come back with a stitch on it. Then that of the flay, I have also added the flay to the base, as you can see. And the excess, I pleated it. This is a, a key split. So I have a key split on the printed back, another key split here, all the way around. So the sleeve, we are going to be left with fixing the zipper and the sleeve. You can always go with your desired um, sleeve for that and the neck is what we're going to do now. Flare. this is a two steps flare and what I'm going to do is um, create a kind of a, a sharp edge just something like this for that reason I'm going to trace it this is just you can just use your your discretion to do this something like you know like that and what I'm going to do you see I folded it to cut so what I'm going to do is to join the base I'm going to join it round after which I'll turn. Already I have my sleeve. So while attaching the sleeve, I'll just fix the the flame to this part, to the crown part of my sleeve, then I'll attach to the dress. 
that's going to be the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section and also if this is your first time click on the subscribe button as well to get notified each time i upload a new video click on the bell to do that all right let's move on Now this is the outcome of my sleeve, you can see what we have here, yeah, it's looking so beautiful. Just go ahead, cut whatever sleeve you decide to cut and attach it to your main dress. So till I see you next class, bye!